it's like, a... uh, don't don't. It's an game. NSFW game. That I'm not gonna. He is alive. Mm -hmm. Yes, Fable is alive somehow. I thought he might have been dead, but no, yeah, he's, he's here back to re from the void. He's here to react to Seth with us, and apparently he did a Starfield review. I have never played Starfield for the obvious reasons of it didn't look fun and it just didn't. Which game is NSFW? We'll talk about it afterwards. That uh, Seth reviewed. Hey, yeah. Star Sisters. Seth here. Let me tell you a vision of the future. <laughs> hey, hey, sisters. White boys Star. Can finally Star jump here. With a White boys Seth can here. finally jump. And of course, low gravity. <laughs> Humanity yeah. has spread across the stars in their multitudes of diverse races and cultures. Varegar, he's got the sons he's got of Jones. Hispanics, honorary Aryans, and the Fingal. Yeah, what? I. Okay. Life is an SFW. Yes, we know this. Turn this up a bit. The vast expanse of space. I'll turn Naturally, up. we never did find a solution for automation. So in the future, oh. the only career paths are uh, <laughs> space pirate, space pirate with a voice oh, filter, or religious extremist. Oh, hi, Maury. Hello, Maury. Hello, Maury. Hello, Coco. number one. It was teary eyes, knowing full well their <laughs> offspring will grow up and become murderous bandits before Why putting is on there? their own helmets <laughs> and shooting up the 7-Eleven. And the PS5 oh my God. still <laughs> has no game. <laughs> okay, I need to lower Maury's audio because she's a... Uh... That vision is already uh, here, Star Sisters, yeah. because the best game ever made. No, the best It's not game... because of you, Maury, it's because Star I think Sisters. I put you too high at one point. Why are you put me so high? Because your high is in the sky. Take I'm a, a giant... look. It's in a book. I'm, I'm a giant anyway, yes. If it will ever Sith. be made is already dead out, dead and there's no competition. <laughs> Baldur's Gate, <laughs> more like three-hour unskippable gay sex. Three-hour unskippable gay sex. What the hell is this image? Field, a masterpiece <laughs> where I can live out my fantasy. <laughs> Of being a Bangladeshi <laughs> man with a ten eyes, <laughs> Starfield wins game of the year. The... <laughs> well, that one really got Chrono. <laughs> let's skip the full game. That one really got Chrono. I saw it on time. Oh my god! He was talking uh, about Baldur's Gate three. Baldur's Gate. <laughs> he said Baldur's Gate, unskippable case. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck, dude? How are you, Fable? Hi, Hi Fable. Confused. Hi. Hi. Oh, yeah, uh, Fable. Prepare. Yeah. I'm going yeah. to pitch this idea to you real fast. Uh, do this after uh, the... What? Uh, do this after the video, okay, because okay. just in case I don't I'll, want I'll anyone... Because I'm putting this on YouTube, so I don't want anyone to hear about your idea just yet. Okay. Okay. models alone. Okay. Just look at I'll the three cement the sausage. Video. That's the difference ray tracing makes in a game like this. Which runs Honestly. buttery smooth on my 1490. <laughs> Dear God, it caught fire! Fast, 17 frames a second. I'm look at all those watermelons. Oh my God! Besides, the human eye can kind of reminds me of Let's Game it out. A second. Sometimes my saves get corrupted and I lose progress. But in oh my wow! Happiness, I realize I get to. I am glad that I didn't get this game. Have those unforgettable experiences what all the over again? Oh my we God! Imagine <laughs> that we are Sisyphus, uh, pushing the boulder forever uphill. For in the struggle, we find meaning. Ask not do we? what Todd Howard can do for you, but instead, what you can do for Todd Howard. A good game. I'm still surprised he has characters. a job. But an amazing some of this game shit. is one where you don't remember a single person at all. <laughs> field is to role playing. What <laughs> How many problems does this Asia game have? Is to the elderly. Oh wait, it's a Bethesda game. I answered my own question. Hey. Is persuasion, which it's lets you know what? My it just works. Oh my goodness. Oh my. From what my understanding is, yeah, it is essentially what Bethesda games are lately: a buggy mess where they leave, where they uh, release it half, um, mm -hmm. where they release it half finished, hoping that the fans would be like, "Oh yeah, we'll forgive you," and then over time they slowly start fixing the bugs, which is lets you walk away from the. Yeah. One of the worst ways of actually completing the game. And, and Tom much. Howard's words, 
What it just works. Don't? This system works by stringing random sentences <laughs> together with a cadence of a crackhead. <laughs> gets, this that is what, what it, he said leads. before, by Something the way. Something that <laughs> would shamelessly steal. Oh the my purpose God. of persuasion, however, is to gaslight companions. Sarah <laughs> is strongly opposed to the <laughs> harm of innocent people. So, appropriately, in the style of a cartel execution, I ventilate someone's cranium. She screams at me. <laughs> Hell is the matter with you? No! I persuade her that I'm sorry and I'm going to do better. I'm not sure there's anything you can say at this point. <laughs> as strange as that sounds, I suppose that. <laughs> oh my god, really? I realize things out here can be rough. Mm. So I'm going to let She looks like she's it. trying to wear Star Lord's jacket. Now, and then I do it again. <laughs> she looks I accept high. who you are. <laughs> I'm just not sure I can travel with you on this path you've chosen. She just keeps this he just keeps doing this. Handedly, the most entertaining thing Why in this game. Sure. Just looks like because someone I be know. More careful in the future. I don't know. Otherwise you'll find yourself traveling alone. Ah, oh, you're yeah, right. Going to help you oh, oh, Ashley. Oh, he's using cryo stuff to <laughs> the second most entertaining thing in this game is joining the pirate oh, faction as a double agent, and in the oh. process, becoming a triple agent. I have chosen to join the war on terror. On the side of terror, I can play entire <laughs> missions without shooting. Of course, of course, Seth would. A single shot, because guess what? Mm -hmm. Half the entire game is now friendly to me. I watch caravans get lit up with the same interest as a youth in the projects witnessing a drive-by. The streets give and the streets take. Story. I've had <laughs> God damn it, Seth. With more Story. In the plot of this game. Spoiler: It's Skyrim in space. You must become starborn to use the magical Thusro dot to kill Parfenax, who in this case is other starborn from. Other universes that you must defeat to go to another universe and start new game plus. That sounds incredibly stupid. I may have a smile on my face, but it still doesn't make it sound any less stupid. <laughs> Multiverse theory is appealing to fans of Rick and Morty because oh it implies the existence of a dimension where you haven't been molested. Oh my God, Seth! That <laughs> <there's differences> <laughs> Uh, and no run is the same. Yes, one place in the game changes. The emissary is always whoever dies in your current run, and there's oh. a universe where Sarah is a potted plant. Objectively, <laughs> this is the best universe because she doesn't talk. Yes, I heard some people even romance this creature. If you find such dialogue captivating, I recommend intimacy with a drywall. My oh my god. My story was attending a funeral, only to interrupt it by starting a firefight. <laughs> Almost everyone involved is an essential NPC, so the shootout will never So yeah, end. Bethesda, Quite. whenever they really don't want you to kill an NPC, we'll just make them Check unkillable. We so. have an infinite amount of universes. Yeah. That means we have no consequences. Anything yeah. can be undone by walking through a portal. So why so, can't we kill essential NPCs? Why that does make sense. That doesn't. Yeah, he's right about this. If none of this matters, unless you're trying to do a thing of everything everywhere at every time, which tried to make the argument that everything matters if everything's like that, but of course they're not. They're Bethesda. Then yeah. why not let them yeah, kill essential NPCs? NPCs. Ah, oh, yeah. God, speak to it. Press the wrong button. What is it, Fable? No, right. I don't know. But also, you I gotta mean, realize the thing about Bethesda lately is it's not how they they're really taking the whole. It's how it's. Uh, I think Todd Howard literally said. It's not how the game starts. It's where it gets to is the, what's what matters. It's just like, no, me to no, no. That, is the, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard you say, man. Stop that. Yes, just because stop speaking. None of your shit makes any sense. a higher entity made of light. For example, there's a side quest the, the, where a 200-year-old ship from Earth developed I mean, before the invention of the Grand Rise. What would stop somebody from trying to go to every single universe and killing every single version of a single person in the game other than that the character was unkillable in the first place. Yeah. The planet but, resort. I mean, if you can just go through New Game Plus and go to a different universe where everything's pretty much the same, then it the really Paradiso. doesn't matter. You negotiate on their yeah, behalf it doesn't and are given three options. Matter. One, send every colonist to work as an indentured slave for the corporation. Two, wow. pay out of pocket for a grav drive and send them to bother someone else. Or three, eliminate the last practicing Jew in the universe. I'm not making this up. There's a colonist on board who's preserved Hebrew rabbinical teachings. And the third option oh is the Oh my god. 
Russian asking you to destroy the ship. What the Austrian painter started, what the fuck? Todd will finish. What is this quest design? You present me with three terrible options. Yeah, what the hell? Is to shoot up the board of directors. But I yeah. can't because I'm not allowed to. Because the talent in this company has dried up and left a long time Pretty ago. Pretty much. But it doesn't matter because Bethesda spits out a game every few years for their target audience. Dads. I get it. You have two kids, you're in your mid 30s, and you have time for exactly three games a year. I don't judge, we're all busy. But this game is immune yeah. to criticism because the people you're arguing with don't have that much time or investment. They see a crater, they soy pog, and then they leave. That's why oh if somebody defends this game, don't give them a hard time. They have it hard enough already <laughs> between uh, beating their spouse and their children. And they still say <laughs> man can't multitask. Game oh my god. This features challenging and intriguing puzzles such as fit the shape into the shaped hole and replace the battery. <laughs> the considering the, the majority of Xbox players have never replaced a smoke alarm. This <laughs> is a novel concept. Your as it gods. requires higher abstraction <laughs> to I deduce that even... the ubiquitous chirp in the hallway is in some way Quantum connected to the set of Duracell batteries you hold in your hand. <laughs> Clearly, I didn't pay any attention during character creation. As once I finished the game, I was very surprised to hear my character's voice. You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. Not like I missed anything. All the perks are garbage. Wanted oh. is one of two perks that actually does anything because you get bounty hunters chasing you. The other being kid stuff, which gives Americans the experience of two loving parents that aren't divorced. For the nation, <laughs> holding the world record in broken homes, a stable family is science fiction. <laughs> I spent a bunch of time wow. with guns, only to find out that guns don't scale whatsoever. Attachments on lower level weapons are a waste of time. Let me tell you how you're actually supposed to do it. You oh. Okay. Into a level 75 zone, but instead of being insta killed, you cast Creator's Peace, which makes enemies drop their guns. Oh Depending my god. Them, tweak them and there's on no workbench, level and now, lock. You no longer have to complain about bullet sponges. Personally, I enjoyed <laughs> shipbuilding. Yes, I'm aware of a hollow ship exploit, but I didn't really need it because all I ever do is one shot the engine with electromagnetic and board their ship, after which I disarm them with Creator's Peace and individually fist fight <laughs> the entire crew. It's really fun, and if I can't parallel stuff, uh, I I can role play as if we're having a civil dispute at the Bangladeshi border. Oh I found my out god. Companions don't use ammunition, which is convenient because for some reason this game lets you craft everything except ammunition. Why? Some of which is highly specific and not sold by Why? most vendors. In contrast, crafting oh ingredients are sold Why by would the they not let you craft ammo? That feels incredibly stupid. Their collection and destroying any yeah. incentive you had to find them yourself. So I thought it would be interesting to try and make my outposts self sufficient using only the resources. As I could find. It took me two full days before I found a planetary source of sealant. For reference, this is a common organic ingredient necessary for most structures. And where oh, did I wow. find it? Middle of nowhere on a toxic bio, meaning I needed to reach the bottom of a science tree and have three tiers into planetary habitation before I could make planetary habitation. So, what in case you're ever tempted to do what I did, don't. I remember once I saw a live leaks video of some Chinese farmers throwing pigs into an open pit and setting them on fire with kerosene. What? Starfield allows you to not only recreate this video, but use it for infinite experience. What I did was set up several alien breeding facilities and box them oh in. Oh my then god. I built a macro script to throw incendiary grenades at set intervals, firebombing all the cows, waiting for them to respawn, only to firebomb them again. I can oh my leave god, my desk so... and come back several levels What higher. are you writing, Fable? Why are you writing in chat? Oh, 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 yeah, but, oh, because you said uh, Bethesda <laughs> Elder Scrolls 6 win. Generally, You're however, 2080. Outpost development is a hellish <laughs> experience. And that's because the game has <laughs> no <laughs> system to track how much you need and what you need. Your best bet Your for God. memorizing a recipe is using pen and paper. The alternative to that is... That is incredibly stupid. Jumping across load screens, walking to the vendor, buying what you assume is enough, returning to the outpost, only to find out you're missing, like, two adhesive, and need to go all the way. Yeah, oh I hate that kind of crap. Same. Exactly. This game is an exercise in how many load screens can you oh. tolerate before choosing to end it all. No <laughs> wonder nobody ever got that Steam refund. We spent two whole oh, hours wow. docking and undocking. There's a lot of these transitional animations, and it's not that they're painfully goddamn slow. It's that I can't skip them. I understand yeah. that this is a small indie company, and maybe <sighs> resources are stretched thin between yeah. the award-winning dialogue. Estimate a budget of 200 million. 
What the fuck? Where the fuck is that money going? Indeed, NPCs that hit you with that fluoride stare. <laughs> but when the solution is <laughs> so simple and obvious, you can't help but ask, what's going on at Bethesda? Despite having no access to the construction <laughs> set, the modding community has managed to fix many of the issues. However, the, even if they do release the tool set six Apparently the mine community eventually gave up on Starfield because it just wasn't fun. It's down the line. I don't really trust this company yeah, to not screw me not over. It honestly isn't. This game isn't worth any of your time. And, uh... No. Bethesda was trying to say no like you, it. quite literally, in the reviews. I'm not even kidding. In the Steam yeah. reviews, they just kept saying, no, it's not a bad game. Be quiet. I think they were using an AI oh, wow. to do it, also. Over. Remember, the only reason we don't... So have yeah, they had an AI responder. Pushback. Believe me, they'll try again. The only potential redemption. He's not wrong. A company will try to have paid mods again. Yeah. Redemption of this game is the release of a full construction set because the only way the fans could save this game is to wipe it clean <laughs> and make something else. <laughs> I figured it out. I know why I'm so angry. I'm not angry at the game. That reminds me, I should try Fallout London at some point because that actually looks fun. It's not even that bad. They had mm. to, I think... From what I've seen, they had to remove a lot of things to basically make it its own game. They basically just are using the engine. <laughs> because they don't oh. even use the Fallout Boy image. I'm angry because I paid a hundred bucks for it. But yeah, that would make me pissed. Has done it again. Each time, yeah. I tell myself, no, not this time. But I already know, Todd's gonna tell me lies. <laughs> tell me sweet little <laughs> lies. And each time... I listen. I understand Dear I've God. said some polarizing things, but in truth, I just needed a video because I signed a lot of contracts while drunk. So don't take anything I say seriously. <laughs> <laughs> but what if it isn't? What if it's actually my unfiltered dog shit opinion? As always, more content to come because I'm legally obligated. A warm thanks to the legally obligated of the merchant no. skills generously funding and bankrolling these videos. You're all truly wonderful. Have a good one. Maybe we'll watch another video of Sess a bit later, but yeah. So, what to get? I pressed the wrong button. God damn, mate. Don't pay attention to what I'm doing. Anyway, thank you all so much, and I'll see you guys later. I forgot to press the stop record button, but now I am. And if you like us well enough, check out <laughs> these two, YouTube, and maybe my Patreon. It's $1 over there. Later.